Hello guys, welcome back. So in this video, I'll be exploring with you robots main and catalog application, the user interface. You know what you are to what you will expect from the user interface if you are a new user and some functions of a particular section in the app so you can understand the application appropriately. So I'm sure you have I'm sure you already download the app or you know how to download the app and you have already opened it and you are aware of how the app looks like and something similar but in this video I'll be taking you afresh uh, as if the app is freshly installed you know like it's installed afresh so that you follow with the same experience so I just want to clear out data so that we look like a fresh app I don't have anything to lose so this is it i'll be opening the app now robot mini catalog so when you first open the application these are what you will see if you go like you will see process catalog which is under here you will see view catalog so, and you can also save and share the catalog you know? this is the pretty major function the application is working on the basics the application is built on you know, to process a catalog for you to view you can view the catalog and you can also save and share it so after that you can see so it's asking us to proceed so what we do next we proceed because i'm a fresh user as you can see so this is a permission you just have to allow because it will be needing your your permission to access internal storage because of some files we will be saving later you have to allow this are just uh, quick nav navigation you can skip over here over here skip at the top right corner you skip so then it comes this page we are in this page you can choose the mode in which you want to continue with and from here you can see there are two choice two choices is either you sign in with your gmail or you continue and if you decide to sign in with your gmail how you continue it's just a slight a sin a, a, a there's this disparity between them and what is the difference between them is that one you'll be able to publish online and the other you won't be able if you decide to sign in with your gmail you'll be able to publish entries that you have prepared online and if you decide to continue as a free user quite all right it's okay but you won't be able to publish online and one thing about this application is that it doesn't use data mostly it doesn't use data to perform most of the function you don't need data but um, i'm sure you have to run your data to do some stuff on my behalf so let's click on continue i will use i will make going along with the choice of continue for now you can see continue So because it's fresh up so it's just, you just have to delay a little bit so now this is how the dashboard the menu will look like if you are opening it for the first time something similar like this and i will be digging deep i will be demystifying these sections on this app the user interface so that you will be able to understand it so from the top here the right top right corner is a notification bell you know so you can decide to turn on notification for new entries that are published or you turn off the notification you know if you don't want to receive notification maybe someone just publish an entry online so you will receive the notification if this is on but if you decide to turn it off fine you will receive the notification so that's about that and little by little i'll be taking each section as you can see from here the first one here is the recent catalog card under the recent catalog card this section whenever you prepare a catalog entries and you have gotten the results i mean the catalog card of, of the last results so this catalog card will be automatically generated you know when you have gotten to the results of your entry 
this catalog tag will be automatically generated and it will display right here right here right here right here right here so you know this will create an avenue so that you can see the last card uh, that you viewed or the last card you you did you dealt with you know before maybe before you close the app or instead of going through the cataloging process again to achieve the result so but here you just be able to see the card or the recent entry you have made the next one is card gallery you know under this section the card gallery this this section houses all the catalog entries card the results of all the catalog entries card that you purposefully or intentionally save you know it's not, not not like the first one that's automatic it automatically is being generated you know but this one you have to save it because if you did not save it it won't appear on your card gallery so you know under this page now let me go to under this page you can see all the entire cards i have saved uh will be reviewed here and i can also search by the name of the entry don't be surprised that we are seeing them here if i clear the app page there are some of the data that won't delete with it so that's how it is there are some of the data that won't delete with it so that's why there are still some cards left that's why i've clear the data of this app so that's under the card gallery so now under this explore there are some sections there also the recent catalog entry so under this recent catalog entry it allows you to jump straight back to the entire catalog entry result you recently prepared. You know, maybe you have entered your catalog entry, you have prepared it, you have gotten your results, understood, and you, uh, after preparing this, after providing the bibliography details of the book, and by any circumstances, you just decided to exit the application. You know, maybe you just want to do something away from the app and you want to come back. So automatically, you'll be able to access this results when you come back to the application next time you know so you it will just save you the process of going through the preparation stage and the cataloging and getting the results so automatically it will just launch you to the results it will lead you straight to your recent catalog entry results so that's why and you can see it is inactive for now you can see it's quite uh not active because uh, there is no recent catalog entry we have to pay. You know, I just opened the application afresh. There's no recent catalog entry, so that's why it is in that. Room. At the time we prepare a catalog entry and we got we have gotten the results, it will be active so we can use it. The next one here is the prepare catalog. You know, this aspect is the major area where most of the work of the cataloging process is carried out. You know, it will like it is like a worksheet. When you click on it, it's like a worksheet. Understood? It's like a worksheet that you can insert all the bibliographic details of the book we want to catalog mm. so like you know normally like when you are doing your practical there is this workbook they normally give us you see where you enter your author's name first before you now start preparing the catalog so this is like a worksheet also you can prepare the catalog so let's go back so the saved catalog the saved catalog is is in two 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 two, two ways is that the catalog you saved locally into the app you know the app itself or the one that has been saved online the published catalog entry that has been published online so that's where so if you go through the saved catalog here you will be you have two choice to select between the one you saved inside your app which can be only accessible by you alone by you alone in the app or the one published online so you can, that's where the safe catalog entry there's no room you can see so I'm, I'm not with my data uh, i'm not with my data link i want so later we'll be dealing with it in next subsequent video so you'll be saying much more about it so let's go back now under the session of more which is the about cataloging you know this session is just in the app is just lead you to the activity that describe what cataloging is uh, cataloging elements, sample of a catalog card, of a typical catalog card, how it looks, yeah, the diagram, and some useful link that can assist catalog. Card. Let me show you 
Hello, I'm about Counselor. You can see Robot Mini Catalog is a mobile application that prepares bibliography details of an information material within the sea and available already in trees on the graphical TD by 5 catalog card. You know? I've uh, already described that before in the uh, first video. So, this is a catalog card. How it looks like the diagram, the labeling, so that you understand them what is cataloging. You know, can read through catalog element, the author, the title, the edition, you can read through also. And this are the useful link you might visit you know you can decide to visit the link to learn to learn more so that's just about that aspect now the other the other apps the other apps is just you just direct it to my developer account you know my developer account where you can access the applications we earlier we discussed in recent video in my first video the applications i discussed i may mention that can that support library science and related science courses so this is just the link to use then you can also contact me this contact is just an avenue to reach out to me via the means that has been provided you know if you have if you have more information like an improvement on your own side that i can incorporate into the application because development is cumulative you know we keep on developing we keep on adding more we keep on adding more updates so if you feel like there's an update you just i need to add up to the application so that it can suit your need um people uh, mass people at large so you can reach out to me on facebook or you send an email to me so true over there so and also uh need an expert in catalog you know if you want if you need a personal assistant and understand this cataloging process as a whole, you know, you can use this link directly. It will link you straight up to my WhatsApp chat so we can discuss better on how I can further assist you. So, in summary, this is the major aspect of the application user interface. And I believe by the time you have a maximum understanding, it will help you to make to effectively use these applications so that you will know you will know what to do and how to use them. You no, know, there are some other features I'll be dealing with in the application under here, especially under here. There are some features that I'll be dealing with like this, like this on top, like all this be button, here yeah, the save, the upload, the import, and other stuff. I'll be dealing with you so that you can make use of them. They are quite similar and they are also quite useful if you know how to manage them. So that uh, will be all on this, on the introduction of the robot meaning catalog interface and the functionalities. Understood? So my next video basically will be on how to catalog a book. So watch out for my next video, which actually will be dealing on how you can catalog a book with this application. I will be cataloging a book with the with this application. And you will see the results. And I'm sure you want to see how the result will look like, you know, with this application. And how you can how you can view it with the main entry and added entry also likewise. So once again, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share. Thank you. Thank you.